Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Terrible Video Game Commercials. It's your man Bob coming at you again with more and more terrible video game commercial commentary. And for this one, we're going to be watching free ads from the sixth console generation. We're looking at advertisements for the Xbox, PS2, and GameCube. <laughs> Okay, so what? Did this lady just give birth to Superman? What is going on here? So as he flies out this lady's vagina, he slowly but surely uh, ages. Oh, and this is the Xbox ad, by the way. Yeah. So this poor... Well, he starts off as a kid, but soon... Yeah, but soon he grows into a boy, then a man... And his whole life is just passing him by. This is very cruel. Very cruel indeed. Wow. So imagine if your life was this short. You know, you flew right out your mom, you know, into the world already 18 years old. Yeah, and uh, once again, this is for the Xbox. So we we'll just uh wow, right into the grave. Right into the grave. And once again, this is for the Xbox. Um where's the Xbox? Where's the Xbox? Where's the console they're selling? Where is it? I don't see it. Is it in the grave? Did the uh, console end up in the grave? Is the old guy playing the uh, latest uh, edition of Halo right now? Yes, 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 yes. Life is so short, so you best to get an Xbox. Because, uh, you know, the Xbox can uh, prolong your life. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. So yeah, obviously this ad is uh, pretty short. It's also pretty dumb. You know, they don't show the Xbox. They don't mention the Xbox. They don't really say. You wouldn't even think this was an Xbox commercial. It's just this poor uh, baby being shot out the mom, and I guess the mom's in a lot of pain. My goodness. My goodness. Man. You, know, you have to be in like pretty like good like shape to like launch a baby that high in the sky just using your vagina. That's that's nuts. But uh yeah, this commercial obviously drops the ball here. You know, we don't see the Xbox, we don't hear about any of the Xbox's games. Uh we just see this person age uh rapidly uh so fast he goes right into the grave. So I ask you this, uh, does this make you want to buy an Xbox? Uh, probably not. Probably not. Let's go ahead and move to the next commercial, right? What kind of LSD acid trip am I watching here? What the hell is going on in this stupid commercial? What is this? Oh, maybe some gross exaggerated metaphor for sensory overload. Uh, yeah, you know, I know the PlayStation 2's graphics were awesome, but come on. So, you know, there's a lot going on in this ad. We have a freaking hamster powering a, some type of uh, meat grinder, which is spewing out clay dough. Let's see, some human arm hitting a button, if you can't see that. 
Oh, there it is. The human arm. No, it's a human arm with a mallet hitting the button. All right. And then there's some, like, mechanical biting lawnmower on a conveyor belt powering something. Okay, he's powering the dollar bill. There's a dollar bill illuminating or producing snowmen who are working to hit some eyeballs and that are producing doll heads and all types of um, spanking machines slapping this hiney. What, 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 what is going on here? So this is my brain every time I load up my PlayStation 2. This is what's happening to my brain. Oh my goodness. And this guy is obviously a drug addict of some sort. And he's just sitting there. He, he's not even doing nothing. He's just standing there like, whoa. He's just sitting there. But at least we know it's a PlayStation 2 ad. At least we know. All right. But just like the previous one, you know, we don't actually know anything. You know, except this bizarre madhouse of um, feelings that are going on inside your brain every time you load up GTA Vice City. That's nice. All right. So, you know, that's what's going on to your brain every time you play your PlayStation 2. Well, you should get a GameCube. And speaking of GameCube, so uh, that's the next commercial we're going to check out. So, um, you ever go to work and, uh, you know, you just see a samurai fight unfold in front of your eyes and you, know, you just stop and pause there. I see a lot of like crazy characters when I'm on my way to work, you know, mostly they're homeless people uh, begging for change, but, uh, you know, maybe they could be like just staring at some, uh, you know, fake samurai fight. Here we got here. We got Tuesday Adams, y'all, all grown up. Uh, I guess she's some type of vampire now. And this, uh, you know, this disturbs me the most. It's a bunch of rich people having a uh, brunch with this uh, cube. And there's just all these, uh, there's just this folded up human body. You know, screaming for help, help, someone su uh, help me. I'm in horrible, horrible pain. But they're just sitting there eating their soup. Like, they're not disgusted at all. So, yeah, this ad gets uh, pretty, pretty nuts. Yeah, a lot of cubes, a lot of cubes, obviously, right? It's the GameCube commercial, so why not have a bunch of cubes? Meanwhile, while we're at it, while we're at it, let's have this uh, poor guy in this cube drowning the deaf, right? He's drowning. No one's helping him. Just nuts. Uh, and there's a shark there. There's a TIE fighter. This dude is like... He's stuck in the cube. But, you know, one thing about this ad, at least, um, no, Nintendo is showing you the freaking games. They're showing you the games. Not only that, they're showing you how much the console is going to cost and how much the games are going to cost you as well so that you can make an informative decision as a consumer. Right? So, you know, this commercial kind of redeems itself. You know, it starts off really strange, but, you know, it does show you, hey, what you're going to be buying. So, uh, I don't know, maybe this, maybe this commercial shouldn't even be on here because maybe somebody can argue that this is actually, oh, and they're even showing you the console. They're even showing you the freaking console in the game. 
All right, so, you know, this game, I mean, I'm sorry, this commercial kind of redeems itself uh, here. It re definitely redeems itself here because it's showing you the console and the games and giving you a price range. But at the same time, uh, no, I don't really enjoy all the disturbing images in here. You know, this guy drowning to death is um, really strange, um, you know. And no one's helping him. No one's gonna help him. And um, I didn't say anything about this guy. Um, you know, he's just another rich person who can afford to have people trapped in cubes for his own amusement. And of course, if we go back to the dinner scene again, this is really what game is this supposed to represent exactly? I, you know, you got this guy who is really just bent up. I don't know if he's dead or not. He looks, oh, wait, you know, that's, wait a minute. This guy, this guy right here, he's actually the same guy right here who's also in a cube, who's in some, you know, sweaty, greasy apartment. I don't know. So kind of, uh, where exactly are they trying to say with that? Who knows? All right, well, that about concludes uh, this edition of Terrible Video Game Commercials. I really hope you enjoyed me uh, rant about these ads here. And, uh, you know, what did you think about these ads? Uh, did they do a good job of selling the system? Right, did the Nintendo GameCube ad kind of redeem itself by not only showing you which games are going to be on there, but also the system itself and the prices that you're going to pay? Uh, let me know in the comments, and if you haven't by now, make sure you subscribe to Smoking Fiend Productions. This is your man Bob signing off. Uh, stay safe and stay beautiful out there.